Okay, so Dark Wizard is the one that uh, won the vote on the Patreon channel. So this is what we're doing. And uh, I used to own this game back in the day. I'm going to go ahead and let the intro play out. These are the golden lands of Cheshire. Lands which were secure and prosperous via the equal radiance of both the brilliant warmth of lightness and the elusive mystical darkness. There were beautiful valleys of rich soil. There were castles of great strength and charm. And the people of Cheshire were very happy. Sabrina, the goddess of daylight, and Arliman, the dark god of night, both gave life to this land, ruled by the great and good king Rashan. King Rashan dictated that the people of Cheshire would be heard by the rulers of many individual kingdoms, and all was well within the wondrous mountains and the lovely seas. The king's high priest, Zahark, was charged with the task of administering this peace to fulfill the people's dreams of freedom, to encourage celebration of the beautiful sunlight that ruled each day. Yet Zahark had plans of his own. You see, Zahark knew of the jealousy of the Dark Arliman towards Sabrina and her beautiful light, and thus Zahark prepared an evil plan to pit the two gods against each other. The High Priest's wicked plan to rule the lands of Cheshire had begun by his summoning the powers of darkness and giving life to Arliman through the use of an ancient and forbidden spell. Sabrina, aware of the sudden change in the peaceful balance of the universe, knew that as the goddess of light she must act quickly to prevent the lands from being consumed in total darkness, as evil would surely reign. Neighboring communities went about their daily chores, attending shop, working the fields, fishing the seas, and the kingdom leaders continued to assist the people in their pursuits of peace and security under the aging yet great King Rashan. Many wondered who would one day be heir to the king's throne, in that the king had no queen and therefore no children. Yet the many kingdoms of Cheshire did not worry, because they were unaware of the universal battle brewing in the heavens above. Meanwhile, Zahark had implemented the forbidden spell that gave human form and eternal life to Arliman. Zahark and the dark lord of the blackened skies prepared to cover the golden lands of Cheshire in eternal darkness by eliminating his rival, the enlightened goddess of light, Sabrina. Sabrina, having powers as equal to that of Arliman, prepared for the coming battle. She had enlisted two great leaders of the land and gave great powers to each one of them. One of these leaders was a wise and beautiful warrior named Armor, and the second was a strong and cunning young warrior named Bian. Soon the battle between the goodness of light and the evil darkness became fierce, during which the goddess Sabrina discovered who was responsible for this terrible uprising. Sabrina guided the beautiful armor to do battle with and kill the evil Zahark, while Vianne was directed to enlist the powers of the king's most trusted grand wizard, Gilliam. Gilliam, being a grand wizard, developed a powerful spell to entrap the evil Arliman. He imprisoned the now eternal dark monster. Vianne had disappeared while assisting Gilliam atop a fearsome dragon, while aiding Gilliam in the capture of Arliman. The 10,000 day war had ended, and Armor the First, the beautiful warrior, was appointed ruler to act as both king and queen to all of Cheshire. Successor to the great King Rashan, who was killed in the terrible war. Soon, harmony was once again restored, and the people celebrated. Peace, the good teachings of Rashan, and the blessed goodness of light have ruled this land under the great armors for some 300 years now. But suddenly, from out of nowhere, the nightmare of those turbulent years is once again about to return, to unfold unto an entirely new, unsuspecting generation. Uh, we're not quite done with the intro. There's another second part to the intro here, so... Um, I, I think I just let it... I think I just let it play out here.
Yeah, just wait it out, I think, and the second part to the intro comes up after this. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to speed this up. There it goes. which imprisoned Arleman, the Dark Lord, 300 years ago, is being guarded by an elderly wizard named Velenese. Velenese is the head apprentice to the Grand Wizard Gilliam, who is said to possess the spell of immortality. However, Velenese had dishonored himself by using forbidden spells and brought upon himself the wrath of Gilliam. As a result, punishment was to be forced upon him as his penance. <laughs> Felonies, the penalty for using forbidden spells is heavy. From now on, you shall be charged with the task of guarding the Jewel of Darkness. Huh? Guard it, my lord. That is correct. And for eternity, I shall cast the spell of immortality upon you. Huh? After the spell of immortality has been cast upon you, you will be sent to Raven. The Dark Isle, where you shall be sealed off from the outside world. Oh, Velenese, as one of my head apprentices, an example must be set. You will atone for your sins in solitude. I... I understand, my lord. Having the spell of immortality cast upon him, Velenese was sent off to the Dark Isle of Raven. His life there was not easy. The solitude of eternal life with not another soul was true damnation. It was only a matter of time before this solitude turned to hatred towards the rest of the world. It took Bellinese 300 years of this hatred to undo the spell that sealed him for the rest of the world. Now, with the dark powers of the sleeping Ottoman in his hands, Bellinese secretly finds the time to exact his revenge on Gilliam and all of Cheshire. Through the use of ancient sorcery that he mastered during his 300-year exile, Belenese has now become a dark wizard. <laughs> demon army, Belenese was ready to unleash Iron, the Dark Lord, from his captivity in the Jewel of Darkness. Now, not unlike Zaharic, Belenese begins to place the world under Arnimund's reign. And now for my revenge against the Grand Wizard Gilliam. Revenge for the 300-year-long damnation. All of Cheshire must pay! The regular army led by King Arnold VIII could not defeat the ferocity of Belenese's demon army. And the world was soon covered in darkness. With the king's strength spent, the descendants of the first beautiful warrior and his soldiers were forced from their kingdom to the remote lands of Quinton. Thus began the dark wizard Belenese's monstrous revenge. <laughs> Okay, that was actually all of the intro there.
We got more intro, though, because now we got the character intro. So, hold on. Look at the main menu. <clears throat> Here we go. Well, let me go to options. Make sure the options are correct. Real music on, sound effects on, hex map, hex map off, okay. Alarm. I think this should be one and four, I think. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Dark Wizard is a strategy RPG back in the day when strategy RPGs were extremely rare. And uh, you get four characters to play with here. Most people that do playthroughs of this game use Crystal. Uh, pretty much because of her dragons. Um, I don't think I've ever seen... Well, I might have seen one with a mod, but I don't think I've ever seen one with armor or Robin. I'm going to choose Robin. And uh, Robin is, like, she's amazingly strong herself. Um... And uh, I don't think I've seen a playthrough with her ever on the internet. So uh, we're going to choose normal. The difference between normal and easy is basically just the number of troops you start with. I don't think there's any other difference other than that. So we're going to choose normal. Let's see, change name. The name I, that I think fits the name that I think fits for Robin is uh, Afala because she's. Like, she's a super tank. And the foul, of course, in Heroes of My Bench 3 is the defense specialist. You'll see what I mean about her being a super tank. Here in the Gade Valley, an area near Quitten Castle, the demons and monsters created by Belenides are unleashing their fury. The second cavalry dispatched to fight the demons have all been killed. Except one survivor, the cavalry. A warrior engaged in a desperate battle against a demon monster. What? Where, Where am I? Where is the king? There were rumors that the king had died. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, it is true. I, Kael, will raise you since you were an infant, would certainly not deceive you. I thought his royal highness had finally escaped to Quentin. I heard he was wounded, but... There is great regret and sadness for the king as he was defeated by the demon army. But before he died, his last words were for you, Robin. He has entrusted his kingdom to you, the greatest warrior of Quentin. His kingdom? That is to say, he has named you the sovereign ruler. But this cannot be. There is no one else. Even David, who has been called the master swordsman, knows you are best qualified. David? Yes, he is the one who brought you back from the River Neity, where he found you barely alive. And the Robin 
the lyrical detail that became the new rule of Cheshire, as the dying wish of the king dictated. Oh, okay, there you go. So that's the character intro for Robin. And now, here we go. Uh-oh, I put the settings wrong. Who dare to challenge Arlman's return? I'll crush your pathetic rabble. I promise you, armor my liege. I'll bring peace to our country again. Okay, so I need to, I need to actually fix the settings in that case. Let's see what button is it. Turns out I had the, uh, had this all like. Well, let's see. Can I clean an alarm? Um, I think that should be fine, actually. Okay, so. Alright. Let's get started here. Uh. Well, this is an old game, and, uh, they did things in a kind of an old game type way here. Um, here's how I'm going to play this. Well, first of all, let's take a look at our main hero, Mafala here. Or, you know, Robin. Um, she's got unbelievable stats. She is the strongest unit in the game. She doesn't have the highest attack, right? There are units that have higher attack gains than she does. But... Overall, she's the strongest unit in the game. She gets the highest defense out of any unit in the game, just by far. So if you get her to level 99, she's, like, unkillable. It's it's really unbelievable. <laughs> uh, usually, how you play the game is you have your leader kind of stay back and cast spells, and, you know, your other units go forward and, and do stuff. Well, with Robin, you can actually send her out into the fray, and uh, she just does, just kills, like, everything. Um, and it's kind of unbalanced. Like, you start with a character that's class level 5, which is the highest class. And, you know, they got all this attack and defense. And all your other units are basically worthless at that point. And you can kind of, like, you kind of, like, mow through the game just that way. Anyway, we're going to not hire a lot of units... We're going to keep our units to kind of a minimum of what we need to just beat stuff because, I don't know, I think it's more fun that way rather than have, you know, billions and billions of units which are, you know, kind of weak. We'll have just a few units that are strong. So, anyway. Uh, first thing we're going to do is... Let's see here. We're going to summon... Um, okay, we're going to need a dragon. So we gotta get a dragon pup. That's number one. So I'm gonna summon a dragon pup right here. Um, I'm going to summon. Let's see here. Do we want a griffin centaur? I'm gonna summon one centaur. Centaurs are actually pretty good. Most of the summon units are crap, except for a few exceptions. The dragons are always good. And uh, the neutral dragons aren't the best dragons. The best dragons are the lawful dragons. The neutral, dra neutral dragons are, like, third best. The, the first best are really the chaos dragons that can fly. Um, the undead dead dragons are the worst. Uh, the second best dragons are the lawful dragons, which are the strongest. And I guess the third best dragons are the neutral dragons. But the neutral dragons are still pretty good. I mean, they still get massive attack gains in their special attack each level. And uh, when we make a dragon rider, um, it's going to be a neutral dragon rider. Therefore, uh, it can actually use ranged weapons. So. Now, you know, somebody, like... I was seeing someone... What is this guy neutral? No, this guy's lawful. I have seen someone claim in a video that uh, when you combine... To make a Dragon Rider, you combine a Dragon with a Fighter. And I was seeing somebody claim that if you use a neutral, or if you use a human, they can use all the weapons or something like that. I don't know. It's, I thought that uh, when you made a Dragon Rider, 
it completely erased the original any references to the the type of human you used but i could be wrong i don't know anyway i think um i think we're gonna make a neutral dwarf uh to combine with our dragon rider and that's because uh they get the most attack per level um so we're gonna need a neutral dwarf i mean i could make an elf they get a slightly less attack and, and i don't know we're gonna need elves anyway Oh, I should probably uh, look this up first. We're going to need one neutral. I'm going to take one neutral elf anyway because I'm going to want uh, one ranged character. Um, we're going to need another neutral elf because I'm going to want. Um, I'm going to want one spellcaster, and finally we're going to need another neutral elf uh, because I'm going to want. Um, let's see. Do I want to make him lawful? No. I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need one sorcerer. I'm I'm going to want one uh, ranged unit uh, like archer, and then I'm going to want one uh, druid. And the reason I like elves so much is their forest movement. Forest movement is kind of the third best move in the game. The best movement would be like mid or high altitude. Uh, the second best movement would be ninja. But if you don't have those, then the best movement would be forests. Uh, that's because there's a lot of forests in the game. Like, all, o all over all the maps have forests. And if you're ground, then you take a penalty for trying to move through forests. And it's annoying. Uh, elves and dwarves get ground, or get forest movement, and humans and hobbits get uh, ground movement. Which makes me not like humans and hobbits, because they're slower to get through uh, forests. Um, and like I said, there's tons of forests in the game. So anyway, we got a lawful, lawful fighter. We're going to use this guy later. Um, so we're going to keep this guy around. The mage, I think we're going to just get rid of. Uh, there's no reason to keep the mage. So I'm just going to, you know, get rid of his items. Then we're going to keep the priest around just because we're going to need some healing early. So the priest is going to stay for a little while. I'm going to get rid of him later. You don't want some priests. Your, um, your leader can heal, usually. But you're going to want that extra healing help. So you're going to want your own priest. Just one. I mean, I wouldn't recommend, like, getting, you know, filling your army with priests, but one other priest is good. So there's another reason why I want to use elves, other than the forest movement, and that's because they can use certain elf-specific items that increase your movement, uh, increase your magic resistance, and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. I forgot. But um, elves are great. Uh, mobility is kind of king in this game, so... Elves can get a total of plus two movement bonus just from items that they can wear. Whereas normal units get a plus one bonus. And uh, I'll go for the plus two bonus in forest movement any day. So, uh, what else do we need here? I want to get a serpent now. I don't have enough MP anyway. Let's see, I think we could get a rock. Just, uh, or another scent. No, I can't, uh, can't get another centaur. I only get one dragon for the dragon rider, even though dragons are kind of fun. They're kind of slow. Unless you get the flying wyverns, dragons are kind of slow. So, one dragon is all we're getting. Um, let's see here. We want another guy? Let's see. I think maybe... Uh, neutral dwarf for the, for the dragon rider, I think. I think that's it. And I think I'm going to just keep and follow there.
So, how the Dragon Rider works, and we won't get a Dragon Rider for a long time, but uh, once we do get access to it, how it works... Oh, I was going to get rid of this mage, huh? Hold on. Uh, fortunately, this game is slow as hell. Like, there's that menu leg. <laughs> I don't know why it's something to do with the... I don't know. But it's annoying. Um, anyway. How the Dragon Rider works is you get uh, the dragon and the human, and you combine them into one unit, and the stats of that unit are determined by, I think, the, uh, the, let's see, I think it's the dragon's attack or the human's attack, whichever is higher, plus some, some random amount or some, some amount. And, uh, so you technically, and their health is the same way, I think, something like that. Uh, so you basically kind of want, um, kind of want them to be as high of level as possible. If, if possible, but I, I don't know. We're not going to do any, like, extra leveling. I'm just going to go with whatever, like, I get along the way. Like, you could power level if you want. There's several ways to do it. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want you guys to have to sit through that. It kind of ruins the game, really. So, uh, the level of our, you know, dragon and dragon rider will probably not be more than, say, 20 on each. So, but if you wanted to, you could level them each to 99. And then the stats that you would get on that dragon rider would be huge. And then in addition to that, of course, the dragon rider starts at level one, so you could then level that Dragon Rider uh, all the way to 99, and you could get some crazy stats, trust me. And the stats in this game aren't really capped. They they go up beyond 999 to, I don't know, I don't think there's a limit, probably 65,000 or something like that. So, and then you're pretty, pretty much one-hitting everything, which is kind of cool. Um... But you, you can't get a Dragon Rider for a long time, unfortunately. It's like, I don't know, three-fourths of the way into the game, something like that. Yeah, it's kind of slow. This is another reason I don't want a big army. It's kind of slow controlling the army. Kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to summon more guys, aren't I? I just realized I'm going to have to summon, like... I'm going to have to summon guys to just kind of, like, sit in the, uh... uh I'm going to have to summon guys to sit in my... The citadels for defense. So I could summon these guys and just leave them here. I don't have to move them. No. Really, anybody that you want to leave on defense is okay. Uh, it would be nice to have the highest class available, but it doesn't really matter as long as you have enough of them. You don't usually run out of time on maps, so it's not a big deal. You just need someone there to keep your, your uh, defensive things from being taken. Little bastard. Where's the bishop? Where's there's the priest? Uh, I'm going to take advantage of a little kind of, um, I don't know, it's not, not really a bug, but a little situation here that we got. So there's this priest who's almost the next class up. So you hit him a little a few times, and he turns to the next class up, and if you can just keep hitting him, he'll just keep resting to heal himself, and if you don't kill him, you just sit, sit there beating on him and get, uh, you know, get all your guys classed up like the next couple of classes to where that uh, they're a lot more effective. Um, it's it's kind of a, I don't know, it, it doesn't take that long. So I'm going to do it. You know, it's not too cheesy. It's a little cheesy, but not too cheesy. Okay, 
guys. So every every rock is going to be a defender. So we have six of them. I probably need uh, probably need in the neighborhood of ten. There is a there is some kind of cap on the number of units you can have total. By the way, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal. Which is mega heal. I forgot I forgot how much I'm spending for that. Uh, the wonders of controlling a strategy game through a, uh, a controller. So that's eight. I don't know. I, I might not need any more than that. Eight might be fine. Okay. Level up. Go ahead and cure this guy. Oh, I, I should probably say something about the attack chart here. Is it strength? No, no, I'm, I'm on the wrong screen. Oh, this is the wrong one. There are a lot of little perks to this game, so let's go map, attack. Alright, so... There's kind of a rock, paper, scissors thing going on with the different classes. So you can see humans. So the circle and the little with the, with a circle in the circle. Uh, that is uh, means really effective, right? So you can see humans. Uh, we're looking at the human attack effects. Humans are very effective against humans. Very effective against hobbits. Very effective against dragons. Lawful. Uh, not effective. The X means barely effective. Barely effective against serpents. Barely effective against hydras. That little, um, that triangle means, uh, it mean, it's, it's a little bit better than not very effective. So you can see we're a little bit better than not very effective against dwarves. And the dragon, chaos dragon, for some reason we're little less than very effective against Chaos Dragons. I guess they don't show the chart for the uh, little symbols here, but that's what it means. So you can see humans are pretty much effective against everything, except for Serpents and Hydras. Um, and of course the bottom row of units there, the Centaur, the Cockatrice, the Hellhound, the Phoenix. However, let me say that that only applies to a physical attack. In other words, you click attack a unit and that is that is where that chart comes in. It does not apply to spells, and it doesn't seem to apply to special attacks. Special attacks seem to include ranged attacks in some cases. So if I make a ranger, uh, which is a neutral a neutral fighter, I think when I click ranged attack, I think that ignores this chart. I'm not sure. I know that's kind of the case with the centaurs. Anyway. Uh, let's look at something else here. So dragons, you see the humans were effective against kind of the top three-fourths of the chart. Well, the dragons are effective against the bottom three-fourths of the chart. They're kind of like, they kind of cover the weaknesses of the humans. So they're now effective against the centaurs, cockatrices, and all that kind of like summon unit stuff. And the only thing they're not very effective against is, strange enough, the humans and apparently griffins for some reason. But, so that's kind of why you want kind of dragons and humans. And you really kind of ignore the rest. You don't usually use other summoned units because the dragons kind of cover everything. Um, the really bad stuff, like let's take a look at the griffins. There's some really bad units here. Like um, they would be good because they're flying and you can actually make a, a, a griffin rider and a pegasus rider. Problem is this, if you look at the charts, they're barely effective against anything. The, the little circle within the circle thing, they only have that for a few units and most of the other units it's kind of, you know, a uh, little bit better than, than really bad or, you know, really bad or, yeah. So that's the problem with those units is why you're not gonna see me really use those units at all. Uh, serpents and hydras are kind of interesting. They're good against uh, humans. 
not very good against dragons. Really, they're kind of crap units. They they get to their fourth level, or yeah, their, their maximum class, and they really don't get many many stat gains. The dragons are really the only summon units that get good stat gains at their max class. They get really good stat gains. So that's another reason why you use them, even if they wouldn't be more effective against certain units. Their their stats are so high. Plus, their their secondary attack, with, which is a breath attack, ignores that chart. So for anything they're not good against, if you use a breath attack, it's going to be usually uh, effective enough to kill it. All right. Anyway. So um, yeah. Anyway, so I don't really use anything other than humans and dragons, pretty much. Uh, there's 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 a few exceptions to the units, like the centaurs are are, are really useful, and they have a ranged attack. Uh, I just don't feel like you know swarming the enemy with billions of centaurs is a thing, which is a, it's it's a strategy, but um, it's not not something that I run and really do. Anyway. Let's see if I can get that out of the way there. Uh, you can... Okay, I'm just going to show you why I'm not... I'm, I'm using the text and not the real. You'll see here why. <laughs> Trust me, uh, there's a good reason for it. Oh, I'm not getting anywhere with her. Well, we'll, we'll uh, just show you what the... See, they have an actual graphical ex uh, attack exchange if you want to. But first of all, you got to wait about five seconds for it to load, and then it does this. Yeah, riveting, isn't it? Not really worth it. The text is a much better way to go, particularly if you want to actually get done with the game at any time, you know, reasonable time frame. So that's why I turned that off. We're going to kill that Harpy. This guy is effective versus Harpies. So, H Arrow is a special ability. It doesn't count as the normal attack. Therefore, it ignores that, that chart. Even if it was... Um, even if we wanted, wanted to go, you know, for a normal attack, we'd actually be pretty good against the Harpy. But, um, you know, it's better to just avoid the counterattack. Which, if you have a ranged attack... Um, you always avoid the counterattack. If you have a, like, a breath attack or a secondary attack, and the thing you're attacking does not have a breath attack or a secondary attack, then you also ignore the counterattack. Now, the counterattack can be a good thing, actually, because, um, it might give you more experience. But, um, it's not what we're going for right now. In fact, I was going to attack this thing, but I'm kind of worried about the counterattack for this. Also, terrain matters as far as defense. Like, if I can get a forest, uh, I get more defense, depending on my movement type, which for forest types is, is excellent defense. I was going to hit that guy, but I'm afraid if he counterattacks and hurts me, then it'll attack again on his turn and probably kill me, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, here he goes, trying to attack me. I get a counterattack in. We get seven experience total for that. We only need ten experience to level up on a on a human of class one, so. The reason I have that fight around, if I didn't mention it before, was because I'm going to make him a ninja later. I normally wouldn't bother with a, a neutral human, or a lawful human. Hold on, I don't want to move her yet. Is the bishop? The bishop's lagging back there, I guess. Okay. Great, missed. That is so annoying, that miss. I tell you what, that'll happen at the worst times. <laughs> oh, man, that... That'll drive you nuts. And there's like, there's some weird bugs where if you like load a game, the next attack is like a guaranteed miss or something like that. It's, it's infuriating. You know what? Why didn't I move that? I forgot why I didn't move that other guy down. 
So we're not we're not very like humans aren't very effective against chimeras, I think, if I remember correctly, so um this is why I have the centaur. Centaur is, is effective against chimeras. Um, I want I don't want a bunch of them, but one of them is, is probably a good idea, so that's why I have the centaur over here. Make sure I can kill some units that might be hard to for, otherwise for me to kill. As much damage as I thought. See if I can. Okay. Uh, the strongest units in this game are human, typically. Humans and dragons. They get the best uh, level ups. Am I supposed to heal? Eh. We're going to start advancing. <laughs> nice try. Uh, ideally, you want the bishop to get on the town so he's got more defense and, and gets better heals, but I don't know. He might not do that. We'll see what he does. Okay, so somebody needs to take him out. Who wants it? There you go. looking for people like you don't get any overflow as far as the experience goes so uh i'm looking for people that can that that need as much experience as i would get from getting a counterattack on this guy I don't need to level up that fighter, he's there just to kind of be a tank. Oh, damn. Really? Okay, well, if you force me to do it, you force me to do it. All right, I'm just going to set the fighter right here. Don't need to level or heal anybody. Really? Maybe this guy. Yeah, that guy needs to be killed. This priest is, is going to get removed because he's uh, he's really not a very good priest. But um, keep him around for the interim because we do need some extra healing. All right. You just go stay there. Punk. That's not what I wanted you to do. Another reason why we have all those rocks is we got this swarm of chimeras coming over there, and the rocks are very effective against those guys. So, just in case I need to clear those guys out, I have some guys up there that can do it. Um. All right, so it looks like that guy's not going to come up here. So we're going to go to him.
this guy? Probably. So, uh, this puts a force field around your character, and anything within that force field, including enemies, gets a huge reduction to damage taken. So, I don't want to kill this priest. I want to sit here and level up off him. So, we're going to soak, soak up his counterattack there. And then we can come in here and uh, smack him around with um, some of our units. Doing very little damage is, is the idea. We don't want to actually do a bunch of damage to him. I'm going to take off my weapon with this guy because I don't really... Oh, well, I'm not going to hit him anyway. Never mind. Right, so, if we keep him at a certain level of health, he's going to heal every turn, and therefore he won't really be a bother. We let him, you know, if I level him up a bunch, which is what I'm going to end up doing by hitting him all the time, uh, then he, he, can, he can hit me for a lot of damage and, you know, I want to kind of avoid that. So we want to just keep him at a certain level of health that, you know, isn't dangerously low, but isn't high enough that he's going to attack me each turn. I'm doing all this while I kind of make my way with my main leader over to the boss. And, uh, you know, deal with him. I'll get a few, get a level up off you. Go ahead and soak up his counterattack. Right. Priest is only 20. There you go. Did a lot of damage there to that guy. Maybe I should reload. Can't hit him again. If I hit him again, he's probably dead. I want to get this guy out of my way here, so... Let's see. I guess I... Yeah. Did I hit him with him? Maybe? Yeah, there you go. Might have to reload. I don't want to hit this guy because he's probably going to just die. Actually, want that. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I didn't kill him. Oof, whoops. I didn't actually mean to swing. Oof, he's got like what? One health? Three health. <laughs> okay. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? And this is where I need to talk about uh, some goofiness with the game. Okay, so... Normal human units are supposed to get a certain amount of defense per level. However, it's bugged. It doesn't actually give you that amount. It says it gives you that amount of defense when you level up. But it doesn't actually give you that amount of defense when you level up unless you load. Uh, so if you load a game game recalculates the defense for your human, normal human units. I'm not talking about, like, special characters. Normal human units. And uh, I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. So I'm going to load a game deliberately just to get the defense of that priest that I'm attacking up to where I'm not doing so much damage to him. Therefore, I can hit him more. Uh, you might notice that my characters were doing like 8 or 9 damage. They should be only doing 1 damage now if I've got him in a defensive bubble. Also, there are certain things that do not carry over when you save and load your game. One of the things is that defensive shield that I cast there. That always resets 
so just be aware of that. It's supposed to last two turns, but if you load a game, it goes away. <laughs> Strangely enough. No, I don't I don't want to put it on uh, put it on the dragon pup here. There we go. Alright, here we go. We should probably save anyway. <laughs> Okay, so these guys are gonna be these guys are gonna be annoying. I'm just gonna get rid of that guy with the mass attacks from those rocks there. I'm not gonna like sit there and grind infinite experience on this guy. You can do it. Uh, there's better ways to grind infinite experience though. But I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that type of strategy in this game anyway. I'm just using him to get myself uh, Maybe up to the second class where it becomes, you know, at a certain point it becomes, you know, you, you need a lot of more, too much experience to really make it, you know, worth it. But, you know, the first few levels or the first, the first two classes are pretty easy to get off that guy. And so I think it's worth it. Kind of get, get yourself going in the game. I'm just going to get rid of this stupid mantor that slipped through somehow. There's no thing like uh, where if they capture your base castle or something like that, that, uh, you know, that doesn't really do anything. Like, if they were to sit on this castle, it does nothing. It just, I just lose it and I lose the income. So it's not like uh, they would win or something like that. Oh, he didn't heal. Okay. Do we have to wait a turn? So I'm going to use this turn to kind of get rid of these guys. That was a big smackaroonie. So I could hit him. I'm not going to because uh, there's a chance I'd kill him with only three health. But he should he should heal himself. And we can continue beating on him. Oh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to control a strategy game with a um, controller like this. Fortunately. The Fallage just basically at this point just one shots everything. So annoying thing about physical attacks is you can miss. It seems like it happens quite a bit. Okay, finally got the, the priest to heal himself there. So he should have, yeah, near max. All right, let's go ahead and... So you see I did one damage to him. I got a level, he got a class up, which means uh, I get... So the experience you get is based on uh, your attack. You attack somebody else, and it's based on the difference between your class level and their class level plus their level in that class. So if you have a class level 5 enemy and they're level 99, you're going to get the maximum amount of experience for attacking them. And then you get even more experience if they counterattack, even if they miss that counterattack. Um, so he's classed up to the next level. That means he's going to actually give me more experience for hitting him. And we've already... Yeah, I'm only doing one damage to him. So, reloading helped him be a lot tankier. We gotta be careful because we've gotta... We've gotta make sure that he has... 
you know, that he's hurt to a certain point where he doesn't yet, you know, use a spell or anything like that. And I just realized that I probably should have had this guy. Eh. Alright. Well, we'll hope he doesn't attack me next turn. Uh, another thing he can do is, like, try and morph me. Did six damage there. Here's my... I'm gonna probably have to use that, uh, that rock. Hopefully we can do enough damage to him that, uh... Nope, only one damage. Never mind. Okay, he's probably gonna do something nasty next turn, then. There's a problem with him having a lot of defense now that we can't damage him enough to, to keep him from attacking next turn. 94. Yeah, he's going to do something next turn. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's not something that hurts me too much. Uh, he might kill a unit. It suck. But there's not much I can do to stop it. This game's kind of weird. Zap. Okay, yeah. Um, sometimes the AI will try to target certain units. Uh, various reasons. Various weird reasons. Like, it'll just zero in on certain units for some reason. Hard to really predict, but... Um, thankfully, he, he did a zap on the fighter. Round of level ups here. Four, level five, or class five rather. This is a class up right here, should be. Don't miss. There it is. Okay, so one of these guys we wanted to make. Okay, one of these guys has to be an archer. I'm gonna make this guy the archer. Sword. Nope, I still have my sword on. Okay. Alright, hopefully this does a little damage to him. 17, that's okay. Guy got a level. I don't care about this guy getting levels because uh, he's going to become a ninja anyway, which is going to basically negate all the levels anyway. Okay, so we got him down to about half. It, this, that might be enough to keep him from hurting us. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, we need to hear him kill that guy, that's for sure. But, you know, as our guys get class promotions and stuff, they'll start doing more damage, and we can kind of control them a little bit better. I think that's it. Okay, good. He used Treat on himself. Around. One shot. One hit, one kill. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to put that shield back up. Thank you. 
Ooh, he missed. Nice. Yeah, um... Dragons have to go up the same uh, number of classes as a human, but they have a ton more experience to get. I don't know why, don't ask me why, it's just how it is. Okay, this is also going to an archer. Alright, so we made another archer. So, one guy goes to Priest. Um, I don't think I really need to take another shot, do I? Yeah. we just weaken him a little bit. It'll be fine. I'm going to cure. Alright, then we're going to go try to get rid of this mess. Holy crap. Nearly dead. Oh, somebody down there. Retreat up here. That should be it. A fella can basically just take hits forever, pretty much. Oh, except for that guy. That guy actually hurts. Not that much, but he actually hurts. Um, in fact, I'm not even using my sword, am I? So the light staff, I think, allows you to summon units. However, I have a great sword that's about, you know me a little bit more attack. I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah. Yeah, of course, that missed. I'll tell you, the misses will drive you nuts in this game. Well, it happened to him, too, so screw you. Maybe. Mages are good. Mages are actually really good in this game. Um, I'm only going one just for convenience. I'm, like I said, I don't want like tons and tons of you running around. Level two. Mm -hmm. Gotta get the dragon pup up up at uh, one class at least. At 46, I can go start picking off some of these guys, I think. actually kill me if he keeps getting hits on me. It's kind of dangerous. I'm just being there. That's the only thing I really fear is human physical attackers, really, in this game. Just, you know, 
I'm gonna let this guy heal and we're gonna clear this out. Maybe not. Okay. I could attack him here. Ouch. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, and I healed the wrong person. God dang it. Ah, it can be tricky with the uh, weird way to move around in this game. Okay. Stop this guy from harassing me. You know, I just realized that I had to filter on. Didn't actually mean to do that. Let's see, scan lines. I don't know what you guys prefer. I was playing with uh, the filter on just because of, I guess, nostalgia. Uh, but that was a scan line filter. Um, I'm going to take that off, though. I don't know. Or if, or if enough of you guys want it on again, let me know. I thought that was weird. I, I looked at the recording. I'm like, oh, well, that was kind of strange. I had scan lines on for some reason. Let's see, I didn't move this lady. All right, here we go. Um, I'm probably gonna want to throw up the shield again. Yep. Throw up the shield. Now, you might ask me about making a uh, a neutral elf priest. I only get a spell every two levels rather than every level if I was going to make it a, like a hobbit. But the thing is, like, like I said, mobility, mobility, mobility. Um, I want my healers to be really mobile, so this guy is going to be really mobile. And that, you know, the fact that I don't get a, get a spell every turn... Well, if you get enough levels, you get all the spells eventually anyway, so... But that's why. Uh, let's see, where, where is this guy? 82? That should be good enough. Eh, I could attack him and put him down there a little bit more. There you go. That's good. Just rest here. Now, one thing about humans versus like summoned units is they cost money per turn if your gold drops to zero then you get uh, certain units will just disable and you won't be able to use them in battle until you get enough gold uh, a positive like gold flow um, that's not really a problem unless you have a ton of human units but you know it's something something that could be an issue. I'm getting, I'm getting experience for all these guys that are attacking me here, so... We're 
leveling up Mephila a little bit. She takes, a, at class 5, she takes a lot of experience to gain another level. Um, but eventually it does happen. gonna get to class three and that's it's not well I don't know we might not even go that high we might just get a few levels in class two and move on because like I said I don't want to I don't want to sit here and grind forever Really, we just need that second class to make these guys somewhat useful. Oh, that's surprising. But he didn't he didn't manage to do it. He tried to goat me, I'm not sure if he was successful, I don't think he was. There, there's a level. <laughs> Now look at this level up from a foul at class 5. 5 hit points, 5 attack strength, defense 3. No other unit in the game gets defense 3 uh, per, per level. No other unit in the game. It's so far above what anybody else gets. Like the highest, the, the second highest is defense 2. Um, yeah, it's just unbelievable. Uh, and Mephal, like, at Defense 3, if you get her to level 99, she's invincible. Literally invincible. <coughs> which we're not gonna do. We're gonna get a... I don't know, my guess is throughout the game she'll probably get, like, 15 levels. Which is... Still, that's, that's pretty tanky. She's gonna be pretty tanky. Alright, just got... Just got to class, or level 4. He's got another class up to go. Here we go, there's my mage level. Yes. It's completely random what you learn, unfortunately. It would be nice if there was some rhyme or reason to it. But it's completely random what you learn for a spell each level. Uh, you want certain spells and probably not others, but you don't really have control over that unless you want to just reload the game when you get the wrong thing. Which, uh, I don't know if we really want to go there. Let me get rid of that guy. He's standing on a castle that I can get of my income. Why'd you have to miss? So, you know, I'm taking like one or two damage for each thing that just ta that's attacking me there. Um, so I could just sit there forever, basically. on my neutral elf priest, which won't give me a spell. I'll wait until next turn to get that. Okay. Be, uh... Will you stop missing? Alright, so that's all for that. Um... Well, 
she's still got 196 out of 205 health. I'm going to use Windbolt. Windbolt's kind of a weaker version of a very useful spell. Um, lightning is lightning or thunder. I don't know, thunderstorm. I think it's called. Uh, it's a little bit weaker than thunderstorm, but it's it's still pretty good. It's good enough to kind of clear these guys out. I want to start kind of you know reducing the amount of enemies spamming me over here. Now up there is the Warlord, and uh, you can kind of train on him. The problem is, he doesn't heal, so he's also got a nasty Firebolt spell that he likes to cast. It's a little bit harder to train on him because, uh, you know, once you get him down to nothing, he doesn't heal. <laughs> That's a problem. You eventually just kill him. But... Uh, I think pretty soon we're probably going to stop what we're doing down here and go after him. We just need to get kind of the dragon up the glass here. Would be preferable to get everybody to class level 3, but... Yeah. Probably going to take too long. There we go. Up the glass of the dragon. So, dragons get big stat boosts on class increases. That. I'm probably going to completely get rid of that priest later. Which health does he have? Oh, he's kind of low, isn't he? Yeah. I think I really need to beat on him with the archers. Let's move the archers up. Nice miss. <laughs> nice miss. Got him a level, though. Nice. The other guy, anyway. You done? Take this, let's see here. I need to heal this archer first, actually. That was my turn, huh? Okay. So we're going to start to move up, I think. Let me rest this guy. Going up there with 35 health. that guy so I can claim another town. Um, we gotta move uh, Mephana. By move, I mean Windbolt. Uh, spells are fixed. There's no, like, intel... Uh, intel intellect stat or anything that's going to boost your spell damage. Uh, but usually, most spells, if not versus, boss, versus bosses, uh, you know, the better spells actually stay good for most of the game.
Whereas your physical damage will increase. Spell damage is, is uh, unchanging. And uh, will we'll slowly get weaker as the enemies get stronger because their defense will, will raise. Um, but it's still it's still pretty good. It's good good throughout the entire game, basically. Uh, spells are like spellcasters and spells are really good. I think you want at least one spellcaster. I mean, you could have like an army of spellcasters and clear the maps pretty quickly, but you know that's kind of cheesy. See here, still want to. I think I'm going to do a few more rounds of this. I'm trying to get some spells for my spellcasters here. Uh, I think everybody else doesn't really need to be... Doesn't really need to be grinding here anymore. My mage got, what, cold? Cold and fire. Yeah. It'd be nice if you get, like, lightning. Aren't free... Oh, okay. All right, bro. Oh, you didn't get a level. start to send guys up there and uh, get the boss. Pretty much got what we needed. Oh, you... Yeah. <laughs> didn't get it. I don't know if he didn't get it because the... Uh, can't actually change a dragon into a goat, or, or what? I don't know what the deal is, but uh, it's failed twice so far. I mean, he's actually, you know, it's, it's actually almost the next class, which means even more experience. This is, this is going to give me a spell. Hopefully it's the upgraded version of Treat. Now it's Shield. <laughs> Just upped him to a Black Bishop. So... Means I get more experience for beating on him. Crap. What I just realized. I actually have to kill him now. That might not be too easy. I probably want to take the searcher back down. Now that he's he's the final class, he's class level four now. Uh, he can actually be dangerous. Miss, dude. Great time to miss, too, by the way. If you're wondering what the uh, limit is to uh, <laughs> the enemy summoning units, <laughs> units, there pretty much isn't any. They could just summon and summon and summon uh, per turn. You can actually do the same thing, but uh, they can summon a lot more units. Uh, they can really spam you with units. Oh, strange. He, uh, he didn't do anything. He just uh, waited. Okay. So level two from a fellow. There you go. It's a huge increase on her level ups, man. It's crazy. Right. 
just counterattack there you go. Yeah, I want to go for another round, or do I want to end it right now? Um, I think I'm going to do another, let's see here. First I'm going to win bolts. I think I'm going to go, go one more round on that bishop. And I'm going to save, I'm going to save load. And the reason we're going to do that is to try and uh, reload the defense stats on the humans. Make them a little bit more stockier. Should be a little bit harder to hurt now. Oh, another thing reloading does, I think, is it gives you, uh, like, if you have... <clears throat> if uh, an enemy already had a counterattack, you reload, and they get another counterattack. And counterattacks is also not carried over. What I remember. I don't think that's enough. I'm gonna kick my ass. Um. I have to do this. If I want a couple of rounds, I'm gonna have to do this. Otherwise, it's just gonna kick my ass. The counter attack's gonna be too much. Be a good spell. Good spell, come on. some bad level ups, man. He didn't, like, he's still a cure. He should be a lot, a lot stronger heal. I'm 
really care about levels on that guy. Um, oh, I didn't soldier, really? I want to kind of get those guys off the town. I can buy uh, ranged items in that town. Should. It's not it's not a great range, it's like range two, but um, it's better than range one. Ranged guys, so we need two ranged weapons. Let's go on in. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can go into towns in this game, by the way. FYI. We're gonna be doing a lot of that. Uh the quests are basically controlled through your visiting places on the map, like towns, etc. Short bow. Okay. That's really all I need, I think. We could go talk to people, but why bother? <coughs> There's nothing particularly uh, particular in that town that's going to help us. I have <laughs> I have stayed in this battle long enough to get the Black Bishop here to level 99. <laughs> hmm. It's uh, pretty extreme. Let's see. How much more do I have to go to the next level here? Four, three, three. Yeah. Let's get the mage to the next class. I wasn't going to do that. It's a little extreme, but yeah, it's not that bad. Like I said, humans at class 2 are still don't have to get that much experience, just 30 experience. I'm getting 10 apiece for when I, I attack this guy. This guy's already level 5, so he's about to go to the next class. This guy's level 4. <laughs> Didn't get anything, of course. I'm actually, like, <clears throat> rocks are pretty quick to level up, and they're not bad units, really. Uh, the Phoenix upgrade is High Sky, which means it can fly over literally anything. Um, it does good against a lot of units, and it has a secondary attack, which means uh, it can kind of bypass the, the anything that it doesn't do well against in the attack chart. So, it's not a bad unit. The short bow only gets four attack, but it lets me get one range range two, which is kind of nice. And I 
out of mist there. I'm not sure what, like, I've, I think, um, chance to, to actually hit is a difficult thing to suss out how that works. I'm not really sure how that works. I think, I think it's based on your level versus the opponent's level. Um, and then there's screwy things like if you reload, I think the second attack is always a miss. Stuff like that, which doesn't make any sense. Got another level on him. Uh, but that's, that seems to be how it works. Um, I'm not sure the actual formula, but I think it's based on your level versus the opponent's level. Way too many misses there. Way too many misses. <clears throat> so this look, might look like a small amount of units, but I get more units. Uh, we get story characters. Uh, we get special characters. We're going to have a ninja pretty soon. Um... So we got more units coming. Oh, hello. Did you guys oh that's right, you guys were always there. You guys need to go away though. I don't like you guys healing people. She blows. Oh another uh, advantage of magic is magic is the fastest way to level unless you're uh, unless you're gauging in some sort of cheese where you let yourself get surrounded by a bunch of high-level units. Um, it's the fastest way to level normally. Uh, you can do some amazing, amazingly quick leveling with magic, so... You'll probably notice that my sorcerer that I'm making is going to be... Uh, he's going to be a lot higher level than everybody else because he's going to get a lot of experience because you can attack multiple targets, whereas normally... Just a melee character can only attack one target at a time. A well, magic character can attack like, I don't know, seven targets at a time. Yeah, I think that's the map, yeah. Um, and you know, if those are all high level targets, you're getting like, I don't know, half a level of experience in one, one go, maybe more. You might be able to level up in, in one attack. Uh, if you're uh, if you're attacking enough targets of high level with magic, <laughs> starting to actually get somewhere with this dragon. That's good. It's really slow leveling dragons. It's a really bad thing about dragons. It's really slow to level up. Once you get them there, they're awesome. But boy, does it take a long time to actually get them there. I'm not actually trying to level up this rock, I'm just trying to, like, beat this guy down so he doesn't do something with magic or, or attack me next turn. Um, it's doing more damage anyway, but... Oh, nice miss, dude. Thanks. Just when it really counted. Did something with that guy. A couple more rounds, I think we're ready. Go. Yeah. Okay. Well, he didn't, he didn't manage to do it, so... Goat's really annoying. I don't even think I can heal Goat. Oh, I might be able to heal Goat. That's a, that's a weird thing about this game. You start with, like, all the spells on your, on your, uh, leader. Literally, I think everything that you need to do, you can do with spells from your leader from the very start of the game. Um... Yeah, it's kind of weird. Nice miss. This is a uh, class up. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> class up. Class up on the mage. We became a wizard and we learned Blizzard. Okay, not bad. I, I usually like the lightning, but... Um, that works. That still works. A 
this when he needs healed. Oh, also, another thing about, like, about, um, Robin is her music is pretty, pretty epic. Pretty epic sounding music here. So I'm already level 4, actually. So we're going to get higher. She's going to get, like I said, I might get to level 20 with her. Which, 20 times 3, that's like 60 defense. It's pretty freaking huge defense. Um, nobody else comes close. The total defense there. I'm glad that he keeps missing with that. Sometimes he manages to do that really sucks. We're gonna have to like take this guy down a notch. Yeah, so we're not going to put up the shield here. We're just gonna. Oh, we're done with the wizard, aren't we? Learn slow. Mm. I think we're done. I think we're just gonna kill, let's see here. Kill him next turn. Yeah, I think we're just gonna kill him next turn. Alright, so that means we can, we can go forward and kill the boss. It's time. the last few levels off of the uh, warlord guy over there. It's a killing shot. I think... I think I'm gonna have this guy do it. There you go. See you later. Time to move everybody up. That's the wrong one. This is a neutral priest. Right? No, no, no. That's the one we want to delete. Right? No, that is the one we were. Okay. I think I confused. They're both neutral priests. I want to delete the one that. That. There we go. We don't need that guy. He's a human priest and human neutral priest, which is pretty crap. Um, he's slow, he's got ground movement, etc. So there's no reason to keep that guy around. He's 
guys out, and we're off to the boss. <clears throat> 258 counterattack. A lot of damage. Fala is an army. <laughs> she is the army. Look at him spawn units, though, man. This is one of the reasons why I do this. You, you could say, well, why don't you just go, like, you know, not grind at all? Well, the problem is, is that you've got, like, uh, you, you'll get to the point where the bosses will just spawn too many units and you'll just get swamped if you don't have the damage to actually start picking off the, the spam that they throw out. So that's kind of why I, I did that. Um, you know... I realized that it might not have been the funnest thing to, to sit through there, but it's kind of... you got to kind of get off the ground in this game. So that's why I did that. All right. Hopefully you uh, understand. Um, item drop... Drop the staff there. We need to pick up a... Whoops. Assume that we still drop that. I uh, cancel that. Item transfer. We're going to transfer the short bow to the archer. Uh, I'm going to rename some of these units here. I need to rename these guys based on what I'm going to use them for here. Archer is kind of like a, a generic name. Okay, this guy I don't need to rename. He's going to be a ninja later. Uh, this guy... I think... Um, I kind of forgot who these guys were. To be honest. Okay, wizard... Okay, so the priest... Uh, we're going to name priest the priest. Um, so he's going to be a druid. So, we're going to name him Elishar. Is that two elves? I think that's two elves. Yeah. He's going to be a druid. That's where he'll get to. He's not a druid yet. But he'll... Um, let's see here. Uh, this is going to be a sorcerer. I'm going to name him... Name him Deemer. Tradition of naming characters after Heroes of Might Magic 3 heroes. Okay, uh, TGB Dragon, we don't need that. Okay. One of these, okay, so these archers, I forgot which archer is which. I think this guy, okay, based on his health, I guess this would be the elf guy. Okay, so we're gonna name this guy Ivor. He's gonna be a pure archer. The other guy is going to turn into a dragon rider. So we don't actually need to name him. There you go. The other... This guy is going to be... I'm not, I'm not actually sure which we're going to name our Dragon Rider, but whatever. <clears throat> Alright, that way I kind of know what the units are.
really, if you want my opinion, uh, the best warriors are the ranged warriors. Not because they're the strongest, but because they're most convenient. Because you have a real problem in this game with uh, crowding enemies. Basically, just uh, using up all the hex spaces against the enemies that you can, you know, that kind of prevents you from, from getting a shot in. So, if you have ranged characters, then, you know, you can have like almost a, a limited number of guys pile up and get shots in. Whereas, if you, if they're uh, melee, uh, you only have a few spaces to get in and, and, and get your shots in. So, uh, guess what I'm gonna do? Wizard. <laughs> so that's here's the funny thing that's actually going to hit my leader too okay yeah it's going to do 44 damage to Mephala it's not going to kill her obviously but because I damaged her I'm actually going to get more experience because I literally get experience for every unit I damage even if it's uh, an ally which is kind of funny uh, and because Mephala is class 5, I'm actually getting quite a bit of experience from her, from attacking her, so, uh, we're gonna probably abuse that to get this guy higher level quicker. And, let's see. I think it's time, it's time to move her up, I think it is. Stupid skeleton didn't die because he's on that castle. Magic damage is reduced by defense for some weird reason. There's no, there's no like resistance stat. I mean, there is. There's certain units will be resistant to certain types of damage, but there's no resistance stat that you gain per level or anything like that. So, it's kind of weird like that. The defense would be also double as magic resistance. In addition to that, your defense is increased by whatever terrain you're on. So that's why that skeleton didn't take that as much damage as you should have from that attack, because he was on a castle, which is highly defensive, so he resisted even more than normal. His, like I said, screwy, but that's how the game works. Oh well, it's still a good game. This is, this is a great game. I had a lot of fun with this game back in the day. A lot of fun with this game back in the day. See ya. Level 5 on the Fala. Going places. Yeah, that guy needs to go. He can actually do damage. Okay, so that guy needs to go. Well, actually, we can probably take him out with everybody else here. got other ways to take him out. God, dwarves are slow. The big problem with dwarves is they're slow. Didn't get a level for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this again use the fact that I can actually do damage to my own units and get experience for it, so. Oh, I killed Ivor. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, to do resurrection, you have to do sacrifices. I can't do it right now for some reason. I forgot what the requirements are, but you can actually resurrect units. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, though. Kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to mega heal. Because one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to lose your main character because then, then you lose. So we're going to make sure she's topped up. We're, we're pretty much like in the clear here. We can, if we need to, we could just use our. Um, our main character to just completely kill this guy. We don't even need uh, support from anybody else right now. But I'm trying to, in the process of killing this guy, I'm trying to get a few more levels. Oh, you... Oh. Like, he did. Yeah, he did. Ah, he did.
That sucked. Yeah, that's the problem with this guy. I just got a rock class up. They turned into a phoenix. It means they're even more mobile. Look at him just summon units. I'm gonna wind bolt him for a little bit more experience, and then I'm gonna kind of like get rid of some of these guys because they're in the way. Actually shooting, shooting him, taking him down a bit. Um, I'm gonna move this Phoenix out of the way. Nice boss. Fireball somebody else, too. It's okay. He can't heal, so even if I lose my whole army other than my main hero, he's going down. I could probably just one-shot him with Mephala if I wanted to. Yeah, that guy really doesn't matter as far as his levels anyway. Yeah, okay, he's going to fire. 70, holy crap. I it did that much damage. I didn't actually realize he did that much damage. Holy crud. So give me a class up. Like I said, uh... Um, neutral, let's see, uh, elf priests aren't the ideal priests. The ideal priests are hobbits. The reason I'm using an elf priest is for the mobility, because I really value mobility on my priests. Uh, hobbits are much slower. Uh, all said and done. Just an FYI for those guys who are going to point that out. Yes, I know that elf priests aren't, aren't ideal. The centaur is kind of like a, a nice... It, the nice thing about the centaur is it can hit humans, and when the humans counterattack, they don't do much damage to it. So you can kind of soak up a counterattack if you really need to. Uh, one more round, I think, is probably going to do it. I'm going to get that dragon to another class up. If possible. Ouch. Man, that hurt. Look how much that hurt. Three. Um. Okay. Yeah, I didn't quite get there to pass up. That's okay. How much he's got? 32. We could end him with a wind bolt. I'm going to give that last hit to somebody else, though. I'm going to give it to my droid guy. Druid needs a lot of levels because he only gets a spell every other level. Oh, actually, let's, let's actually give that archer some experience. I think we're there. There she blows. See ya. Nice. My Lord Arkna, the scum from Quentin have. Ah. 
Task but too much for that one. Listen closely, you of the Holy Army. From now on, we, the four demon lords, will deal with you directly. The preliminaries are ended. Keep this dread in your hearts when you come to me. So, tutorial's done, basically, is what he's saying there. That's all right. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I, I think I'm going to save uh, probably primarily... You only get two slave save slots, by the way. Nope. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on, let me delete all these. I'm getting got, got myself confused. I only wanted one save thing, and I accidentally. All right, see. Let's delete this one. Save. There we go. There. And I'll do a uh, some save slots there. All right. Troop chart. I think these are all organized how I want them. Phoenix Rock Phoenix. So all these guys are just here to basically sit in my in my uh, place, uh, defend my towns basically, or defend my um, I don't know what you might call them. <clears throat> basically, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna go try to go fastest over as fast as we can over here to uh, pick up the ninja. And then also, well, actually, I think I'm going to take, um, we need to take this place because there's a place where we can get a lot of free money. So let's go ahead and just, uh, you, you got a max of five slots to defend a, like, a fortress here. So for 23 days, we can spend 23 days uh, on this next map and not have our our uh, territory taken, retaken by the enemy. And 23 days is plenty, trust me. Plenty of time. We must concentrate on their leaders. We bring down Aqua, victory is ours. Yeah. Alright, so. Place. Uh, no, I actually don't need to place this guy. Place. Dragon. You need to level that guy up. Place. Ivor. Absolutely. Place. Demer, you better believe it. Place. Elishar, you better believe it. Okay, we're going to move forward. We're still going to place some more. Place. Actually, maybe that's it. Yeah, just for fun, I'll, I'll place the Phoenix in the, in the Centaur. I probably don't need these guys. Okay, here we go. Everything placed. reasons why I want to go down here. First of all, I open up uh, the ability to um, grind money. We're going to need a lot of money. Um, secondly, I get uh, several items when I get uh, down here that are going to help me out. Um, so that's why I'm going this route first. slowed down by that in the way. Yeah, high sky, I believe, so we basically we skip everything. 
And you can, you could, I mean, you could probably beat the game with a swarm of phoenixes. Oh, man, 76 damage. That guy did 76 damage to me, that bastard. <clears throat> Ouch. Freaking ouch. What I'm gonna do is heal. Ice Storm, nice. He keeps pumping that up. That's awesome. What you ideally, what you want to do is just like uh, have a magic user just keep improving a spell until it gets to max. Uh, the problem is it's random, so you can't really like unless you want to reload. And you don't get what you want. You can't really control it. But um, looks like I'm getting kind of lucky. I get. I think I just got Ice Storms, and that's. I think that's the highest you go. Wrong. Well, that's pretty nice. So far, so far, so good, as far as that goes. Right, we're on Ice Storm. The Storm, uh, Storm is the highest. Yeah, Ice Storm. I, I think I am on the highest one we can go. Wow. Got, got, got my other guy in there too. <laughs> Second time I killed Ivor. Oops. Uh, can I sacrifice? You know, it's kind of early. Can I sacrifice to get that guy back? Okay, I think I sacrificed some of my life. Oh, yeah, a lot of my life. <laughs> okay. Well, now I gotta place him, though. Uh, I can't place him unless I'm... Okay, so he's he's back, but I have to, to, to place him. I have to send the fella back and resummon him. Crap. Okay, well. Alright. Note to self, don't use I Ice Storm on Ivor anymore, please. I could use it on my dragon because my dragon's highly resistant. And the is also pretty highly resistant because my dragon's an ice dragon. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm tired of trying to resurrect that guy. So I'm going to have to backtrack, looks like, to go get Ivor again. I'd, I'd like him to get some experience this time. Let him stay dead here. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that guy there. Back. The quickest way would be this way. Okay, you notice this just rips enemies up. Um, I prefer Thunderstorm to start, but this is this is pretty good. I mean. Magic is great for clearing out lots of weak enemies, which you're going to get spammed with in the beginning, and even the later game. You just you run into lots of, like, around 100 health or less enemies, and magic is great for just clearing those out quickly. Uh, that's why I recommend at least one magic user, or one sorcerer of some kind, or, you know, damage magic user. 
you can have a lot if you want, but like I said, you know, one I think is, is uh, necessary. Just, just to clear out the trash mobs, which are... You know, they, the enemies can spam out so many trash mobs, you can believe it. Those guys paralyzed, which kind of sucks. Okay, I think I should be able to get them now. There she goes. Oh, only one health, huh? Okay. Class level three. One more class to go. Yeah, level up stats for them. Strike is pretty weak, but um, like I said, they gain levels so fast that that can add up. Uh, make a heal. I oh yeah, I need to make heal. Of course, one health. All right, let's go, Ivor. Make me proud. Stay away from the coast. The sea serpents get huge defense on the water, or the hydras in this case. Uh, but if you draw them out on the land, they don't get quite so much defense. Or actually, their defense is kind of poor on the land, so that hurts. Kind of did hurt. Ooh, okay, there goes the phoenix. That's all right. You don't really need the phoenix. Shot. Oh, not fire, not fire. Ah. Why isn't, uh, why isn't my storm at the top? Whatever. Doesn't that guy have died? Maybe not. We're so slow. Sea serpents are do a lot of damage to humans, but dragons do a lot of damage to sea serpents. So got my dragon over there beating their 
beating the sea serpents back. I moved my, uh, I moved my Fowl last because I don't know whether I want her to heal directly or not. Got him. It's a level. I want Aimer to stay alive, so I don't want to... I don't want to get him too close to, like, several danger zones over there that I'm going to want to avoid here. We want, also want to take the mages, because the mages can really hurt. It's another dangerous... Ma mages are kind of dangerous. Um, and he's got a berserker here, which does a lot of damage, physical damage, but the mages... They can really hurt you with spells, too, so you got to be careful. I'm going to... I think I'm going to magic treat or shield. I'm going to treat. Shield's not powerful enough to really make that worth it. I'm going to keep Deemer back. Now, let's see here. I'm right there in the forest, just in case the Berserker does hit me. I've got forest defense. You also want to stay out of the range of, of the, uh, uh, what's, whatever it is called, Aqua, because he can cast some nasty spells on you. We don't want to put ourselves at risk until a little bit later here, where we can actually, like, gang up on him. Damn, it's still a long time to go back here, isn't it? Okay, so, nice thing about it, these guys are in range now. So I can Ice Storm these guys. I'm gonna hit my I'm gonna hit my dragon, but it doesn't matter because that dragon's uh, really resistance against cold. And I got a level. Learn fire arrow. Nice. safe in the forest here. I believe I should be able to put this guy. 36, not quite. Okay, well, get rid of him right now, though. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Perfectly fine with them ganging up on that dragon there. They're not going to do a lot of damage, and they're going to give me a lot of experience. And I can even go so far as to use my Ice Storm right there, hit the dragon, and give myself some experience. Basically gained half a level right there. point we'll get enough experience to actually uh you know get some decent healing with that guy it's gonna take a while but like i said it's it's worth it having that guy highly eh, can't get close enough i was gonna try and black breath that's not gonna do much against that guy oh maybe it is never mind holy crap did a lot of damage to me. How did that much damage? A minute. 
Oh no, he didn't do as much damage as I thought. Okay. I misread what was happening. I thought he was doing 100 damage. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Um... Okay, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. Again, we're gonna kind of abuse this. Did I get did I get a level? 48? No, I didn't. I'm throwing like a couple of experience off there. I think I probably want to heal that blizzard breath here because I want my guy to be able to do stuff. A cure for let's see, sacrifice, confuse, protect. Oh, maybe I can't heal it. That's why I have a, a healer. It's because he'll get he'll get the ability to heal that eventually. Jeez, I can't heal that, really. E stone? No, no, that doesn't work. Huh. I thought I could heal that. I guess I was wrong. Okay, well, that's permanent until it, I guess it wears off at some point. voice that does barely any damage and it, it can't actually affect the leader so um normally what's that okay he, he un unchilled there normally what that's supposed to do is that is supposed to make you confused but the great thing about leaders is they can never be paralyzed, they can never be stoned, they can never have any status effects on them. They can never be, like, turned into a goat or anything like that, and they can never be confused. So, it doesn't do much damage with it, A, and B, uh, it doesn't really have any chance to do anything, which is nice. So, it's a nice distraction for the leader while you kind of gang up and kill him. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Probably do is another ice storm right there. Again, for our. Oh, I don't need to go that far for the experience, do I? It's overkill. I don't need 75 experience. Fireball. Nice. We got a pretty potent skip spellcaster here. It's a level nice. There she blows. And the archer. Holy archer. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of experience for LSR by putting him on this highly defensive position and attacking. Which ha! Huh, he avoided a counterattack. Nice. Fala up here so she gets a little bit more defense, and I'm gonna mega heal. Mega heal that centaur. Centaur is probably gonna get rid of this guy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, he beast voice the front guy. Uh. Well, usually he tries to beast voice the leader. Okay, whatever. Well, that wasn't too bad a, a thing for the dragon to do. Oops. Oopsie. We'll 
so much for that idea. Just to give you an idea of what defense does, uh, defense in, in special and you know, terrain preference, um, Fala, who's like killing skeletons for like 250 damage, did 31 damage to this Hydra in the in the water. So basically, you're getting so she's not very good against Hydras because she's a human. And then the Hydra is highly defensive in the water, so it's incredible as to, like, how much of an effect that is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty shocking how, how effective that, uh, yeah, her, her being, uh, the Hydra being in the water. Alright, class up on the Archer. Sniper. Um, I can ice storm it here. It's a lot of experience right there for hitting all those guys. I don't think I did. I, I don't think I did much to Aqua. He's, he's like a water guy, so it's not gonna hurt him too much. I might get over level 20 at the end of the game. Yes, this doesn't mean you've won. You simply grow we simply grow weary of this meaningless conflict. Remember, you worms. Get you quitting out of mercy. Have not won. Okay. Cool. Castle expelled an attack. I'm probably gonna get some levels on people. There we go. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.